Sup Turtles, Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. It's a beautiful fall day in Pennsylvania, surrounded by big, big hemlocks, Pseudocanadensis. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Silver Ranger 515 CL Compass. And I'll get a close up now, show you some of the features of the compass. Now that I have a close-up of the compass, I'm going to show you some of the features. It's made out of plastic. It weighs about two and a half ounces, so really no weight involved at all. This particular model of the Silva Ranger 515, this is the CL, which has the white dial. And it's, it's either going to be a white dial or a black dial on most compasses. Actually, I think that's the only options available. I, uh, opted for the white just to change it up. I used the sun toe that had a black dot and I just wanted to try the white. <clears throat> this is the, the sighting mirror which is used would be held at about a 45 degree angle out in front of you when you're taking a bearing with the compass. This mirror. And this mirror can also be used in a survival situation or anything as a signal mirror which is a great feature to have in a kit or a bag and it's nice it's contained in a piece of equipment you're already taken out you don't have to stuff a mirror somewhere and worry about it you know being broke it's already contained in the compass this particular compass has three different scales on it at the bottom here that my thumbs running along this is the one to twenty four thousand scale the seven and a half minutes uh, would be seven and a half minutes on a map uh, this is the most detailed map you're going to have USGS map. It also has the 1 to 25,000 and 1 to 50,000. There's inches, inches measuring on this side and millimeters on this side. There's a lens here which can be used from used you know to ID plants if you want to get close-ups small small characteristics of a plant you could even use it to start a fire if the sun's bright enough you have enough direct sunlight it might take a while I'm not sure the power of this lens but it's definitely possible with strong enough sunlight to get really dry tinder and get an ember inside the needle housing there's this there's a black arrow that kind of acts as a pendulum and this is a clinometer and it's used to measure uh, degrees, degrees of a slope. You could measure with some simple trigonometry. You can measure the height of a tree, and it's a cool feature. I guess this is a pretty feature-rich compass. You definitely don't need need one like this just to start orienteering with a with a map. Um, but I was doing work that required me to do pretty accurate, uh, you know, data collecting, and so I needed a compass to this caliber. But you don't need one this expensive. And this compass is about, you can get it for anywhere in the $30, $35 range, up to $60, depending on the website selling it. So look around, you can get the deal, catch a deal. This compass also has adjustable declination. And declination is just the difference between magnetic north and grid north, and that's expressed in a degree. And you take this little piece of metal that's attached to the compass on the lanyard, and you just rotate this, this little thing right here, and it'll adjust where you are in the world for your uh, declination. And that's important. I think if you're going to get a compass, you should have one that has adjustable declination. It just makes things easier when you're looking at the compass and using it on a map. This compass is only, uh, I guess, magnetized. I'm not sure the exact science physics behind it, but they're only good for the northern hemisphere. <clears throat> the northern northern hemisphere. They do have compasses that will work both in southern and northern, but the price jumps pretty dramatically. One problem I did have with this is the second Silva I owned. The first one I had uh, a bubble developed in the needle housing, which can throw off your readings pretty significantly, significantly. And I contacted the U.S. manufacturer of this, of where I bought this for Silva, and I sent it to them. They decided it was a manufactured defect and they sent me a brand new compass for free so it's a really nice feature for a company you know customer service is really important for outdoor gear that you use you know takes wear so uh, yeah don't be shy to 
you know, contact the company if, if there's a defect, you know. Yeah, so this is Silver Ranger. Definitely like it. I've used it, used it in the field. It, it's held up well. The dial has has never gotten, uh, you know, a lot of friction. If you, if you use a compass a lot, you're bound to get dirt, debris underneath this where it slides, and this is yet to get tight on me and, you know, uncomfortable to move around. So I like that. I've used compasses where, you know, the dials are very difficult. And when you're trying to do a, you know, a really specific degree or bearing, having just a smooth moving dial, you know, it's a little, makes it a little bit easier. I know maybe some of this might have been a little confusing, not quite certain how all this goes together, the compass and its features and how to actually orient and use a map. I plan on doing a video to show all, you know, the compass in its glory in action. So um, if you have any more questions, you know, you can address them to me or my associate Stoney. But yeah, I plan on doing a video on how to actually use the compass. So be patient. And this is Crick. Signing out, Black Owl Outdoors.